Hello, my lovely Trilobites and Fossil fam. I went to Ulta and I found a ColourPop snowman sponge that changes color. It changes like light blue. I'm way too excited about this. I had a coupon. It was awesome. And I got a different ball. We don't know what's in it. We'll open it. And then I got this ColourPop palette because this is so nostalgic for me. Oh my gosh. And yes, we will swatch it. I'm just so excited about it. I went like swatch crazy, okay? I was on this quest to find overalls and I kept going to like all these different stores and my Kohl's has a Sephora and Ulta was next to Marshall's and Goodwill and Old Navy. Anyway, fine. I finally found overalls at Dick's Sporting Goods. But in my quest for overalls, I found this palette which just looks adorable and I will swatch it in a minute. And I had a 20% off coupon and I just wanted a different ball, so. There's that. So now we're going to open this and then I'll swap that. But yes, snowman sponge. So excited. I don't know why I'm like these. These are so hard to open. It's going to be like me editing 20 minutes of trying to open the ball. What? Like, they have to put multiple layers on these? I can't. I can't adult today. I can't adult today. I feel like I'm peeling an onion, sort of, but not really. Okay, I'm not going to do what I did last time. They're not going to go flying everywhere. This one only has four in it. The last one had five in it. Okay. That's slightly depressing. Just oh no, there's five. Okay, I got it. One I Okay, so let's see what's in here. Let's make a big mess in my kitchen. What is this? It's fuzzy. <laughs> I got the mini naked. Does it open? Does this actually open? Oh my gosh, it does open and there's an actual mirror in there. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. I am like so excited about a snowman sponge. You have no idea, but what, what, what in the world? <laughs> it's a little Urban Decay like moon dust, I think. Oh, it's Urban Decay in Freebird. Does this open? Oh my gosh, like all of these things actually open. <laughs> That's adorable. Whoa, that's something big. The Tress Press. Is, is there anything like in the box? Or is it just a box? Oh no, you actually opened it and there's it's in there. My hair is stick straight, so I don't have to straighten it because it's stick straight. I don't even curl it. I don't even blow dry it. I go to bed with wet hair and I wake up with dry straight hair. So speaking of hair, apparently I need my redkin to go with my thingy majigger. And the fifth one. Dun dun dun. Is this a bowl? It's a little jar of whey. <laughs> Look at him, it's a swirly. A swirly. Okay, that's adorable. Um, I don't know, did you like the last ball or this ball better? I don't know, I think this ball is a little better. Last one was like, I got like the shape tape and the OPI. This one was more like, I don't know. I kind of like dirt, different items from different ones because this I can open <laughs> if I don't break it. That is insane. Like the detailing on this, that is craziness. Anyway, I went like literally swatch crazy. I swatched the Natasha Denona palette, the purple one, and I swatched the Tarte face palettes and the Ilia face palettes. 
and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll just make like a swatch compilation video because that's the only way to do this. And now I'm going to swatch this because this is just nostalgic and it's going to be awesome. You know what I need to do? I need to take these and take like, turn it into a croc charm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, put, like, I can 3D print it or whatever and then have it on there and then I could put these on my Crocs. Could you even? <gasps> these are so turning into Croc charms. That's what I'm going to do with them. It has been decided. They will be Croc charms. I have a 3D printer, so <laughs> there's that. But I'm definitely, yeah, that's so going to be a Croc charm. You have no idea. And into this this actually looks really pretty, and I think it goes. From, it does go from light to dark, and I am in my pastel phase, so you're good. Pardon my Legend of Zelda Legos. My Deku tree has taken over my life, or not my life. It's taken over my kitchen table. Um, I'm already very. I washed my hands, but I'm I'm covered from swatching all the stuff at Ulta and Sephora. So bear with me, but ugh, this is just like a pastel dream and my 20% off coupon worked so here we go we're just gonna swatch a Rooney because we can oh look at that mint look at that mint not show up correctly <laughs> look at that mint stuck to my finger ah anyway oh that's shiny whoo Kind of reminds me of the Blend Bunny um, highlighter palette that I own. Like the face palette. Love that thing. Oh yeah. This is going to be so good. So good. Yeah, I really did like the Ilya face palette that I swatched. I really liked that formula. And surprisingly enough, I really liked the Tarte um, face palette as well. That formula was like super smooth and buttery, but the pigment was there. Because I swatched the hourglass one too, but the pigment just wasn't there. I am totally getting icy snowman vibes from this, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Some of these are even like multi-chromes and duochromes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a silver. I'm curious about this shade. Whoa, we'll just put it over here. Yerk. Wow. That's a, that's a shade. That's actually really pretty. We're going to do the dark ones last because, you know, there's, there's that. Is this a true white? Ooh, it is. Okay, now we go for the darker shades. Wow, that's some oomph. Okay, let's go for this one. Nice gray and a true matte black, which is good because you... I always need a white in a block, so this is actually really, really pretty. Really pastel, very icy, very snowman-y, which is why it matches the snowman sponge. And I'll make a swatch, like, shorts compilation of me swatching all of those face palettes. I'm not going to make individual videos for each and every single product. That'd be redonk, so... I'm still on the quest for the Patrick Ta Barbie blush to swatch, but... That hasn't shown up yet, and neither has the Patrick Ta eyeshadows. I will totally swatch those. And I want to swatch the e.l.f. Uh, bronzers, the the new ones that are coming out. And I want to swatch the, uh, uh, what else was there? YSL uh, blushes when I get around to it. I didn't see any of those items, or I would have swatched them. But this is, I really like this palette, but I'm in my pastel phase still, so... There we go. Anyway, this is adorable. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to go wash all of this off. I'm covered in face palettes. And I will upload that short eventually. Okay, bye.